This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Renn, just the show where you can ask me any question you've got from the wide world of technology. If you want one of your questions featured on Ask the Buffalo, we made it super simple. Every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com, you can go ahead and leave a question. We put an article up and just leave it in the comments. Or if you're more socially inclined, you can send it to me on Twitter, either at john 4 lakers or at technobuffalo, and use hashtag AskTheB. It's that simple. Usually we'll pick about four questions each week. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the Xbox 720, maybe throw some PS4 talk in there, Galaxy S4, a little bit about why I started making videos, and all kinds of other tech in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. So the PS4 rumors have been dominating the news, but let's not forget about Microsoft's baby, the Xbox 720, allegedly. First question comes from Marcus Renegade, who asks, Hey John, do you think that the Xbox 720 will be called the Xbox 720? No, I do not. That makes no sense. 360 made sense because it was an immersive 360 degree experience. 720 would be an immersive 360 degree experience twice. I think maybe it'll be Xbox Next or... Maybe they'll do Microsoft Xbox U, like Nintendo did, because that made sense. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a 720 name. I don't think it's going to be Xbox 3 either. I think it'll be Xbox followed by some other uh, word. You can expect support for 4K. You can expect an improved connect with more points of focus on the body, so you can get a little bit more accuracy. Also, we're hearing rumors that you might actually get some sort of facial recognition as well, be able to sense when you're smiling, when you're blinking, and maybe even some sort of eye control since you're staring at a camera anyway. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but I think that would be pretty cool. So hopefully that helped. Answer your question. So let's go from games to phones to talk about the Galaxy S4. Next question comes from Sashin Bahal. I'm sorry if I just massacred your name. Hey, John, what features do you think are going to be in the Samsung Galaxy S4? I think we're very, very close to seeing the Galaxy S4 be revealed at Mobile World Congress in just about a week and a half, depending on when you watch this video. So I think a few things are going to be flagship features. First, a bigger 5-inch 1080p screen. If you've ever seen the screen on the Droid DNA, it looks crazy real, like there's a sticker on it. It almost doesn't look like a real screen, so expect that on a 5-inch screen with Samsung's pretty impressive uh, screen technology. Eight cores packed in that bad boy with up to four gigs of RAM. I'm seeing it's gonna be pretty much a computer. You can install Windows 8 or you know OS 10 on it. Uh, you could probably use it as that. Not saying it's gonna be a feature, just crazy powerful. Uh, we're gonna have support for wireless charging in there, of course, NFC. Uh, and Samsung should update their touch ways to be a little less cartoony, uh, sort of what we've been hearing. So hopefully that helped answer your question. Let's go from tech to little stuff that's personal. Sometimes I'll give you guys a glimpse in my life in these videos. Uh, this one comes from Twitter and user at Prison Singh. Sorry again if I massacred your name. Uh, at John 4 Lakers, what got you interested in making YouTube videos? This is back now five, almost six years ago before YouTube was really a thing when YouTube was pretty much a place where dudes got kicked in the business and cats played piano. Uh, I always wanted to talk about computers. Uh, I was switching to OS X at the time. I was using a giant HP computer, it was broken, and I was looking for a way to sort of learn how to use an operating system. I never used a Mac OS before, and I wanted to learn, so I went on YouTube to see if there was someone that could show me how to do something as opposed to just reading about it. Uh, there really weren't any videos, so I figured it was an excuse for me to research and get a video camera. I remember I went to Costco and I got this digital tape camera. If you watch my early videos, you can hear the tape uh, being wound as I'm filming. Uh, I just, I wanted to have fun. I wanted a way to talk about technology. I loved it. I still love it. I used to go walk around Best Buy just for fun. I didn't have any style of my own. Uh, so actually I modeled my style initially uh, after a guy in the UK. He doesn't make videos anymore, but his name was Danny is Ace, and he really helped uh, shape the style that ultimately became uh, my videos. So that's sort of the short version of how and why I started making videos. So let me take a break from the questions for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Audible.com. Audible.com is a leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, playback anytime, anywhere. I like to listen to them in the car or at the gym whenever I 
get my butt up off my desk. Uh, you can choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and any other category you can think of. If you want to check out audible.com and get you a free book, go to audible.com slash techno and sign up now and get a free book of your choice. It made it super easy. Again, that is audible.com slash techno. Get a free book and catch up on all the reading you've been meaning to do. All right, let's jump back to phones and talk about daily drivers. User at Kyo Victor SATS at John for Lakers. Is a BlackBerry Z10 your new daily driver since you already made a review about it? The answer is yes, it is. And I will dig it out of my pocket. The BlackBerry Z10 that we just reviewed on TechnoBuffalo.com ended up getting an 8 score. And the moral was it's a great operating system. Uh, it's almost on par with iOS and Android, but it's not better. It doesn't bring anything new or different. And I couldn't really think of the one compelling reason to go out and buy the BlackBerry Z10 as opposed to an iOS or Android phone. And I mentioned in the review, if you want to win a race, you got to run fast in the competition, uh, not as fast. And I don't think uh, BlackBerry is there yet, though. I will say this, though, it is probably the best first generation operating system uh, that I've ever seen. So they certainly spent a lot of time honing it uh, and did a great job. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the Harlem Jake.